Hi, in this screencast we're going to talk about two HTML tags that will become very useful when you start doing web page structuring. Uh, and that is the div tag and the span tag. Okay. Uh, so what it is, well, um, what it is is uh, you can just think of it as containers, mini containers in your web page. Okay. Uh, whatever you put in between these tags, uh, you are containing them, and uh, once you uh, know how to style uh, the containers using, for example, CSS, Cascade Styling, uh, Cascade Style Sheet, uh, you will be able to do a lot of amazing stuff on your page. Okay. So uh, let's just open up our HTML folder. Uh, I've structured a div.html. Let's open it with Notepad. It's a blank HTML page. And I'm just going to show you what div tag looks like. Uh, it looks like this. OK. And so this is the mini container okay uh, right now I'll just show you uh, some text okay and let me show you in the browser what it looks like so you see some text but you don't actually see a big difference or you don't see where the container is uh, that's because uh, we don't know how to structure it yet, uh, or style it yet, decorate it yet. Okay, uh, you can just see that if you put something else in another div, okay, that's the same level, okay, but just in a separate div, uh, more content. You see, uh, this is actually inside a separate container. Okay, so I'm just going to use a little uh, style sheet, okay, to show you what what I mean by decorating it. Okay, style equal. Uh, this is uh, an attribute for uh, CSS. Okay, uh, let's make the uh, background color red. Okay. Save it. Refresh. So you actually see now you'll see the container because I made uh, the background of that container red. So you actually can see that this is the container containing some text. Okay. Uh, let's do the same thing to more content. Style background color is green. Save, refresh. So now this container is green. Okay, and you can see more content is being surrounded by the color green because I made the div tag which is the container that's containing more content uh, to be green, uh, the background color. Okay, so that's div. And span is actually the same thing, except uh, this is the concept of inline and block. Okay, uh, let me just show you. Let's do br, br. Three BRs to break it out. And um, all right. So for example, I want I have a span, a closing span, okay, of some text. Okay. And then I do the same thing with another span. I do more content, right? 
no exclamation marks, span. Let's see what it does. So you see, uh, wrapping the text with divs, you make it a block. Wrapping a, a text with span, you make it inline. So block level, you'll see that uh, everything is one block. Okay, and then if you have another div, everything will wrap to the next line and it starts um, the block in a new line. But as you can see here, some text and more content is in line. They're in the same line. Okay, let's style the background a little bit. Style equals background color. Let's make it blue. Save. Refresh. So you see only uh, the box that has that covers up to some text is blue. Everything else is untouched. So that's the concept of inline and block level. And if you want to use block, use div. If you want to use inline, use span. Okay? And uh, just think of it right now as mini containers. Uh, once we uh, know more about CSS, we can start decorating those containers. Okay?